Bonjour, little Madame Samazier. Can you guess what we're doing today? Wearing my little painter's hat? We are going to go to France, where we're gonna paint on canvas a little ballerina girl wearing a little tutu, like 3D effect kind of thing. My first time doing it, but it should be fun. But before that, we are going to make some lunch. I'm gonna make a flat bread pizza, very simple ingredients, and watch me do it. It should be fun and good with uh, olive oil, uh, basil leaves, garlic, and tomatoes. Simple, that's it, easy to make. Obviously, it's not from France. Pizza is not from France, it's from Italy, but we are going to go to France to do a drawing. So, I read somewhere where to be inspired means to try something new, and to be creative means not to be afraid of doing it. So, come on down, join me. It's a rainy day today again, non-stop. So, what do we do? We're indoors, we're stuck inside, so we're gonna do some painting. So, let's have some fun. So, my friends, let's wash our hands first because hands carry a lot of germs. We touch a lot of places that we are not aware of. So to be sure, we wash them. Before we cook or eat, after we eat. So, a lot of salt. You can sing your favorite little song. Twinkle, twinkle, ABC, or let's see, what else? In English or in Spanish. <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Here we go. Again, it's very simple. Take the basil leaves, and you will love doing this. It's like putting sprinkles on the flatbread. Put as much as you want over the olive oil. See? It's very, very tasty. See? That? I like a, a lot of basil leaves, so this is pretty cool. Spread the garlic. Again, if you don't like garlic, you don't have to put garlic. I know some of your kids don't like it. Garlic, garlic, garlic. Okay. Spread it out. And then we just add the little pieces of tomatoes. Could put some olives too, but I don't have olives, so I'm gonna put this. When it's done, what I do to my portion of my flatbread, I'll add some jalapenos. So I like a little spice. See? It's pretty cool. Very, very simple. Quick little flatbread pizza to eat. Tastes really, really yummy. Enough tomatoes. And voila! See? See that? Voila! Then so now. We are going to put our flatbread pizza in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Depends. You have to check it so you don't burn it. Close it up. And voila! Now, so friends, let's check on our flatbread pizza. I think it's done. I can smell all that garlic aroma in the kitchen. Yes. 
done. Mmm, very crunchy. Voila! It is done. See that? Now we cut it up. So friends, it has been cut into three squares. And remember I said I like mine a little spicy. So I'm gonna add a little jalapeno. Si, senor. I mean, we speak Spanish, English, I mean, a little French, you know. So let's see. Press my little jalapeno. Which piece should I take? I will take this piece. So, I'm tasting mine. Very good. Crunchy. Spicy. A little too spicy. Uh, spicy. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Can you see my eyes kind of tearing up? <laughs> mm. But it's really, really good. Ooh la la. Benvenue. Les amis. Welcome to my Chateau de Paris, France, at Sete Glisse Road. We will do a little ballerina girl with her little tutu. So come on, relax, enjoy, and let's have some fun. Now, well, this is it. We have to be inspired. So this is the Eiffel Tower. And these are some of my paintings that I have already done some time ago. My little table and my brushes. Ta -ta. Welcome, my friends, to Paris. Again, inspiration is key here. All the paintings that I made. A little kind of candle going on over here. I like to get inspired. And our swinging chandelier. So let's have some fun trying to paint and draw the little ballerina girl. So bear with me. Say hello, Sol, to our friends. Benvenue, les amis. This is Sol. I hope you have fun with Jojo today, doing some drawings. I am gonna just sit back, relax, and enjoy and watch. So have fun, au revoir. So see, this is what it looks like. A pretty little pink, like a touch of pink. We let it sit a little bit, let it dry somewhat before we trace a little ballerina, which that's gonna be a challenge you know but once I am satisfied with it I think we're good to go I kind of like was practicing on a piece of paper this is something to like what I want to kind of get something to this effect so that we could put the little tutu on her and let's see what happens so hopefully I could get a little ballerina in there so let's see let's wait a few minutes well friends this is the best that I can make for first try. So she has to dry up a little bit. What's gonna make her look pretty is the tutu that we're gonna put on her. See? That's pretty cool. pink over here because this area here turned kind of white to me so ooh, ooh, ooh. hand alert hand alert okay got a little bit of the black Oh, 
once it once it dries it should be okay look at her from far away close <laughs> so friends this is what i did so far see her tutu i'm putting little pearls inside the little flowers okay so it's a little tricky because they're small so just a dab of glue drop in the little pearl and she should be okay see a little pearl inside the, the flower There we go. I have glue all over my fingers. Trying to make this thing look decent here. She needs a little necklace. Oh, I feel like I have cobwebs. See? And then she probably needs a little necklace. I actually have one over here little necklace of pearls this is tricky because again let me see mm -mm -mm. it's gonna be two little pieces here let's try this let's try this little dancers love to be made up to curve it but it's only two little pearls here see she looks a little cute I think for first try you know I put it along with my collection if I could only get this little cowboy glue out of my fingers and I'm trying to think uh, something else. I thought I had bought mm, like a little pink flower for her head, but sometimes I could put a little bit of this because it shows that she's dancing. Let's see how this will look. Like this squiggly thing, just to give it a little bit of like a movement type of feel. She's moving, she's dancing. She's doing her thingy. I don't know, let's see. I don't know, oops. It's like a squiggly D, squiggly that. Let's see how this will look. Trying to think, trying to think and create at the same time. This one, this one, there. See, give it a little 3D effect. And this one. So friend, this is it, our finished product, our little ballerina with her little tutu. So, thank you for joining me and having some fun. Of course, I have painters, hands, fingers, but that's okay, it's all fun. And even the sun came out, amazing. Exactly when we finish, the sun is out. So, just calapouche et foie, my friends. Till next time, bye-bye.